Stephen, many congratulations coming through that shootout with Peter Wright. Just sum up the emotions for us right now. Yeah, I think it, it was a bit easier than I thought because obviously it was I knew what I had to do, I had to win. But to play Peter and um, to go through is always going to be difficult. Um, he's still one of the best star players in the world in my eyes. And yeah, I'm just happy to get through, to be honest. I'm a bit of relief. There was a lot of nervous tension. I kept hearing my son shouting, come on, Dad, which made it a bit tougher. But um, when you've got support like that, when I've got a, a great community behind me, I've got great fans, I've got um, great family, I've got a great manager. And um, yeah, we build from the bottom and it's working so far. After that edgy first leg, it's easy to get dragged in to a dogfight. How did you reset yourself after that? Because we could see you both feeling the nerves after that one. Yeah, I think I put myself more on edge in, in the practice room. They were, my darts were flying brilliant. I couldn't hit a, couldn't hit a double, but uh, my trebles were going in, so I knew I was going to get chances. And then I, I think I had three ton plus finishes. I'm like, I don't know where they come from. And that sort of settled me down a tiny bit. But then, obviously, Peter started it in the big scores. Put me under more pressure, but... Yeah, I just thought to myself, just just try and um, bring your best game out, and that's what I tried to do. Does the tension increase on you when you miss match darts and Peter keeps coming back at you? What's going through your mind at that point? Don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course it does. Um, obviously, you, you want to win as, uh, by a wider uh, margin as you possibly can. And, um, when he started coming back, I thought to myself, I think I had the darts. I thought, just make sure you win them darts and, and you, you're home and hosed. And, um, I put everything into that leg. If it had, if it had lost that leg and then he'd, he'd have broke, it would have been a different story. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad to get through. And I, I I've got a date with Dan Dawson tomorrow to do some stuff for Target. So I, I tried to keep that date. That's that's why I've I've got through. You had to block the crowd out as well. They they seem to get involved. How did you how did you struggle with that one? Yeah, that was nervous. I, I think for the probably the past 20, 30 games, I've not had the crowd against me. But obviously, when you're playing Peter Wright, he's a he's a home favourite. Like I said, he's one of the best players in the world and he's one of the nicest people in the world as well. He's got a lot of time for my family. I think you've seen on the walk on he went over to my son and he's Toby's favourite dad player as well, which annoys me a lot. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I can keep beating him and uh, my lad might, uh, he might support me. Stephen, many congratulations. Thank you. Stephen, you've been on an excellent run of form the last few weeks. Do you feel like it's time to capitalise on that and, and win a big one? Yeah, listen, I'll, I've spoke a lot about my form of the change of darts and the um, the weight and the darts I'm throwing it now. I feel a lot more consistent, I feel a lot more composed. Um, and I think you can see that on the hockey, on the averages, on, on the way I've performed the, the whole se uh, the probably the last six to nine months. Um, yeah, so uh, listen, uh, it's good enough talking about the great averages and oh, he's had another 110, but I'm not winning tournaments. So it's about time to turn them big averages into wins. And um, listen, I'm trying, the best I possibly can to make make that happen. We take notice in the numbers. Do you think people in the practice room are as well? Of course they are. I mean, they're not stupid. I mean, I, I look at stats. I look at everything, to be honest. I th there was a stat out the other day. I was, I think, number five in the last 200 legs on, on performance. So, um, yeah, I'd be stupid not to look at that. I've got to take a lot of confidence away from that as well. And um, listen, like I said, I'm, I'm dangerous. Um, if I keep on top of the way I'm playing at the minute, then I can win titles, but I've got to keep doing it. You talked about Peter, you believe he's still one of the best players in the world. What does that sort of top three or four look like, in your opinion? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, listen, it's, it's crazy because you see people coming off the tour and you see new people coming onto the tour, the likes of Luke Littler, um, who's averaging 110, and he's not even on the tour yet, but um, our tour is incredibly incredibly tough um, from the bottom of the pro tour to when you're playing on TV you, you, there's never an easy game to be honest and uh, it's all about you've got to believe in yourself obviously there's that many good players and uh, if you don't then you'll just get left behind and swept under the carpet to be honest You mentioned Luke there how do you think he'll be getting on next year obviously his first year on tour? Well I don't want to big him up too much because I'll, be, I'll probably play him a few times but listen he's he's a fantastic talent Um He's got a great team behind him and uh, I think he's definitely one to watch for the future. Okay. Stephen, do you sense a big opportunity in this tournament, the way your section of the draw has just opened up a little bit tonight? Well, I'd have been stupid to look past Peter, to be honest. Um, obviously, I knew it, how difficult it was. I knew what I had to do. I knew I had to win that game to, to qualify. And, um, I didn't look at nothing else. Obviously, I knew um, Brendan Dolan and Danny Knocker were playing and obviously winner or loser of that could have been my next opponent. But... 
Um, yeah, no, I kept me me whole mind focused on the Peter Wright game. I had 11 hours sleep, I think, yesterday, so I made sure that I'm 100% ready. Um, there was no fatigue, and I felt, um, and I still feel really good now to be fair. I could play another 10 legs. Are you feeling any sort of added expectation? A lot of people are talking up your chances now coming into majors the way you've been playing. Uh, yeah, there's a bit, but you, you've got to sort of blinker that out. Um, obviously, when when you're up there on the stage, so many different things can happen. The crowd can turn and it can just change the whole atmosphere of the game. And um, that sort of that could have happened. I think probably 12 months ago, that probably would have affected me, and I'd, I'd have probably lost that game. So um, to show the composure that I showed is a massive positive for me, um, and to get over the line and, and play as well as I did, I'm really happy. Interesting. Thank you. Stephen, it's the first time in nearly four years that you've beaten Peter Wright. Were you aware of that record headed into this match? No, but I'm thank you thank you, you didn't interview me before it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I wasn't aware of that. Um, obviously, I knew I had a good record in the past against Peter, um, and he's beat me. I remember the game we played in the UK Open when um, I missed a nine dart at it. I think it was eight, uh, nine eight to him, and he, he sneaked over the line, but... When you play PT, you just gotta you've gotta play your best game, otherwise you you're going on. But simple as that. This this great format you're in, but it's almost not great form now. It's just this almost a new Stephen Bunting. Is it just the change in dance, or is there something else that's just clicked for you? I think obviously when you play well and and when you can see it and you're consistently doing it at home, um, you get that confidence and that self belief. And I always I compare myself to Liverpool. Liverpool have faced two points all now with the new midfield. Um, it's all refreshed. That's the way I feel. I think the first part of my career in PDC, I had phase 1.0 and I was good, but I was never brilliant. And now I actually feel like I can I can make myself brilliant. I think um, there's a lot of basis to work on. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying the ride, to be honest. And like my family, my friends, my me, me managers, um, yeah, I, I, I believe that we can go all the way. You talk about feeling refreshed and you said that you feel like you can play another 10, 12 legs. How important will that be considering the format does jump to 16 and if you make it to Sunday, you're playing two really long matches? Yeah, no, I think that's the advantage of playing on the European Tour as well. We have that um, we have that experience of doing playing multiple games in multiple, on, 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 on the same day. Um, but, listen, I'll, I'll have a good rest day tomorrow and I'll make sure that I'm ready for for my next game. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and if I can if I can turn up feeling the way I've, I felt today, really confident, really positive, wide awake, then uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it.